Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Who Zone Planet of the Giants. Um I hope I I've got the four parts. Um I don't know how many parts this actually is, uh, to be quite honest with you, I forget. So uh, we'll see when everybody comes on. I've sent emails out to everybody. I better actually um, send Ball Strike a quick message because he'll have to suffer with us as well. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those stories that um, divides people. Uh, any fans, let me know in the chat. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Right, where are we? Just let them know. I sent email, buddy. Uh, just a special shout out to uh, Melina. Um, as you know, she was on last night. And then there was a little bit of drama um, after the, the stream online. Um, now I have to say the behavior of some people in this fandom is absolutely disgraceful. Um, I'm, I'm sick of it now at this stage. Something has to be done. Um, I don't know what that is, but something definitely has to be done. This can't be allowed to continue because these people just don't get it. They think they can go and dogpile and harass and bully uh, without being challenged. Uh, again, I had another account uh, send me some naked pictures of a an obese person. Um, they're just totally vile. They just, new accounts keep popping up. And they started again. And look, we've been ignoring them. We've been, we have been ignoring them. Um, but they just won't leave us alone. And we're running out of options here. We've tried to ignore them. It doesn't work. We've 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 kind of pleaded with them and tried to make them see reason not working. So uh, I don't know don't know what we're gonna do, but it can't be allowed to continue. But here we're here for classic Q anyway. Um, hopefully Melina is alright. She hasn't gotten in contact with me. Hopefully she's gotten in contact with someone. Um, because even after last night's conversation, like um, if everybody stayed last night um for the end of the stream we got quite emotional and stuff and everybody was telling their stories and then this goes and happens it, it's it's utterly ridiculous i'm just sick and tired of it all now um so let's bring on our guests anyway so we'll start with royalty as we always do on this channel it's the one and only problem being i'm only messing it's queen charlotte Oh, he's our royalty, though, with Denny Lee. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We better bring him on next for that one because he didn't like that one. Uh, here's our second member of the royal family. Here's our queen. <laughs> queen problem being. I was all excited then. I was really <laughs> excited and you took it away from me. <laughs> oh, well. Evening. I mean, Evening. 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 It's all three parts of when we're right. It's Planet yeah, of the Giants. Yeah, then the second one is called Dangerous Journey, is it? Well, I don't know what they're all called. I just know it's three parts. And the third yeah, one... Yeah, you got... Uh, yeah, Planet of Giants, Dangerous Journey, and Fantastic. Crisis. Right. Fantastic. I have it then. We're all good. We're all good. Actually, I'm just looking at the runtime for these uh, episodes here. So the first one's 22 and a half minutes. The second one is 26 minutes and 14 seconds. And then the third one is 21, 46 seconds. Oh, balances so, out. so the, yeah, so they're a bit, woo, all over the place. Right, let's bring on our next guest. It's one only real super doctor. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. You? So what's, what's the weather like here, but? 
Yeah, I'm good. We're good here. We got a yeah, bit of rain, but it's a grand with yeah. the most the steam plan. Are you there? Yeah, I'm using. Oh, we didn't hear out and you said there you cut yeah, out. We we got half your sentence. No. Super dog. Um, I cut no. Yeah, very badly, man. Yeah, I think there was something oh. wrong with the, the internet connection. I think uh, may, may, maybe I can uh, have to kind of come in and out again. Yeah, we'll do maybe, that. Yeah, maybe you can, yeah, just come out and come back in and hopefully that fixes it. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, um, how's everybody anyway? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I, I jumped out before all the craziness by the sounds of it, so I had no not idea. No craziness on the on here. It was after the stream was over, and it was on Twitter. It was on Twitter. It um, someone, someone that uh, actually, I'll just say it out straight. Actually, I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, the site that calls them Safe Space Who or something, the account. Um, decided to rehash an old argument. Um, and of course, uh, our panelist, Melina, obviously seeing it. These guys are playing the victim again. Yeah, um, and I'd just like to point out, because I'm talking to Melina now, and um, she sent them a long message explaining how this has affected her. And their yeah. response was to block her. So rather than taking any accountability for what they've done uh, and how serious this is, uh, they've decided rather than admitting any fault or apologizing or doing something, I don't know, adult and responsible, they've uh, decided just to go and block her rather than... You know, she could take a screenshot of that. I don't know if she'd want to she, put the message she, up, she, but she, she could has. take a screenshot of that, show that they blocked it, and you could throw it up on her behalf and actually say, look, she reached out to them, told them how this is how it's affecting her, and their 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 solution was to, to block her. Now, only if she wants to do it herself, but something has to be done about that account. There are another one of these accounts that pop up every so often, you know, they seem to do it a lot more subtly though uh, than than others that have came. In so the what, what they've what they've done is they've blocked her, and then made a statement on their Twitter profile. Oh yeah, playing the victim. Playing the well, playing. Um, yeah, I mean they're pretending like they give a shit, but they've blocked her. If you give a shit, why would you block her? Exactly. It doesn't add up. Exactly. So. Um, well, I, would, then, uh, I, I would if I if you're on Twitter, I would urge you to report these people. Um, they are clearly um, damaged individuals. They have no business running a oh, Twitter handle no called space. Safe Space when they are responsible or partly responsible, I would say, for adding in and encouraging others into a pylon onto a vulnerable adult, and uh, you know, and then pretending like. It's nothing to do with them. It's it's an utter utter disgrace. Um, they need to be shut down. Um, we don't know what vulnerable people that flock to their profile who might uh, also end up in the same or similar situation. Um, I don't think these people are qualified to be a safe space for anybody. Frankly, if the, no, this is I the kind of behaviour, no, I think they reach out to 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 um some of the women in this fandom that were um that were alleging that there was uh some men um sexually harassing them in the fandom and then they reach out and they put a big post up or come to us and talk to us this is a yeah like, which is uh which is in and of itself suspicious and should be treated as such yeah um i, I you know what they what people should be encouraging people is uh, for the these women to go to the police or, or, or speak to a, a a parent or or a responsible adult or a teacher or something yeah, like that. Yeah, an account on Twitter that's run by God knows who. By an that's anonymous true. account, exactly. exactly. Um, th this is not acceptable, and we must collectively admonish it. Uh, yeah. Get it shut down. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. You know. 
target this this account because this account has absolutely no business no business at all uh in 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 claiming to be anything other than an anonymous account online and should be treated as such and is attracting vulnerable people and has already proven that they have attacked someone who is a vulnerable adult and uh encouraged others to do so i mean even after last night right after what melina had said on this panel and everybody start opening up about <clears throat> excuse me their experiences in the fandom and how it's affected them mentally and then to within the space of what five minutes after the stream ended or so i went to take ted down i came back up i see oh, oh, oh hold on sorry I'm, i i misread that right okay so uh they didn't respond they just blocked her so the response was actually from twitter um so i i misunderstood that so they didn't respond to her at all uh, it's just Twitter responding. So when she said they were pretending that they give a fuck, it was actually Twitter, not not the uh, safe space Doctor Who. Um, so I mean that that says it all. So rather than being a safe space at all, their 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 uh, reasoning is let's just block this person that we've. So it's basically they'll only help women on their kind of side of the fandom. Which we've seen because of yeah, and then, and then encourage women. others to dogpile on on the women that they disagree with. Yeah, exactly. and that's, that's a safe space. That, that's hypocritical as well. It's beyond. I mean, look at look look. It's dangerous. I'm not, I, I'm, I, you know, this 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 account can put up some nasty posts. Now, when we mean go and report the the account, we mean report the uh, nasty uh, posts. You know, because mm. it's it's look at the end of the day. Um, I don't normally advocate for stuff like this, but but this this account is dangerous. But this, this yeah, I I agree a hundred percent. I've 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 um been looking at what they've been throwing up, and it's startling to me. I mean, to rehash or to reopen an old wound for no reason whatsoever, just to to gain some sympathy off the followers, because that's what it looked like to me, is absolutely pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And of course, the person, uh, we all know her, Melina is a, is a sensitive soul. You know, she's the life and soul as well. She can be. Um, and she's seen this and she got very upset. And of course, like, you know, as she said, uh, as Lee has said, she has explained her situation to them. And instead of actually engaging with her, you know, they've decided to not engage and to do what they've done and it's it's not right and then they go on then the second part to play the victim i'm sick of these people what yeah. like who the hell do they think they are and 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 even eddie commented on on fate uh, on twitter and he normally doesn't get involved too much well they the they, they also aided in a dog pile on him as well yeah. so they 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 targeted him as well Mm -hmm. Right, and they tried it with me, but of course, you know me, guys. Now, safe space. Okay, so it's at safe space Doctor Who, DR Who. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, don't engage with them. I've engaged with them, they haven't blocked me yet. I don't know why because I, I went into one on them, <laughs> I really did. Um, but uh, yeah, I've seen your comments. Yeah, they they uh, they need reporting. You need to find that tweet. It's dated on the eighth of November. You can go through it and see. Uh, they 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 don't mention her name, but that's not the point. The point is that they are making a mockery of someone. This is effect. They've seen it. It's affected them badly. Yeah, it it affected them badly the first time. Only for these fuckers to dredge it all up again uh, on the eighth of November. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, December, for what, and, and for what? And for what exactly? Exactly for and I don't know exactly what it was for to get to because you know the way it was worded and all it was to gain sympathy. It was the mm -hmm. game. CD. If you look, if you actually look at that thread, yeah, if you actually follow that thread and, and read through it, it's all done in order to make themselves feel uh, completely vindicated that they're not responsible, um, and they're they're getting tons of uh, tweets in support of this account. And they're going, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, it means so much to me. 
oh yeah yeah you know and oh you're you know being told that they're good people and they're a yeah, so this, is actual tweet. this was the actual tweet that started it all off again so before flux i was told my account name can be misleading in certain cases sometimes making it unsafe for other fans and then they wrote please read the thread below right and then they actually they've actually done something uh wrong here uh which people can report them for they have actually uh shared a private correspondence with our friend and if you go to twitter's terms and conditions because i made the mistake of doing it and I, it was removed um you're not allowed to share private messages screenshot them and throw them up that's not allowed even if the names are not shown you're not allowed to put up a private correspondent on on twitter so um you can look into that as well um but look the royal the royal i'm sick i'm sick of these first we had uh, uh not uh, the the other one not not, not my doctor yeah. and then we had others before them and now we got these creeps enough is enough it's got it's gone too far and as i said ignoring them doesn't work it doesn't i i it's about time we 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 um challenge these people head on now i'm serious i'm not even i don't even want to do this because i don't even have the strength but a friend of ours is right now is we i haven't heard from her obviously lee has which is great but she's not in a good good way you know especially even after what she was saying last night like on the stream if you watch the end of the stream the last hour gets very uh emotional by the way but for anybody that's been affected by bullying i would suggest that you go and listen um because what was spoken about was very important in my opinion the effects that this bullying and harassment has on people and we got to hear people's stories even in the chat as well um which was amazing to see that people were opening up and were starting to talk about the things that were were going through their heads and how uh, all of this has affected them uh, it, it's look i spoke about this before there needs to be some sort of campaign to stamp out the bullion in the doctor who fandom and i got laughed at by certain account out there peter won't baby piss pants laughed at the time you know uh thought i was being ironic uh I, I don't bully people. I def I've always defended myself and defended my friends, and I'm never going to stop doing that. And if that's bullying, well, then fair enough. They're morons. It isn't. Uh, what you are doing is, is, is bullying. But look, we, don't, we could sit here all night and talk. If there's any more developments, we'll be let you know. Uh, um, but um, we'll, get, we'll get. I don't know if Ballstrap is actually coming on. I have, I have sent him a message. He didn't like this story, so we'll see. Yeah, he said he might pop in though because, uh, but he could be busy, so um, because he does work as well. Oh, yeah, he did throw up. Oh, he's not gonna come on, and not he's not gonna come on because, um, he said he couldn't talk on Twitter. I, I just remembered actually, Jesus. He didn't actually send it to me, but he threw it up on a public post, so I'm assuming that's why he's not here. If his voice is gone, so he won't be able to talk. No. He said he said he got his video done the night before <clears throat> and woke up and his voice was gone. So yeah, that's what it is. Right. If everybody in the chat is ready anyway, you know what to do. Just press that one and uh we we'll wait for Lee to stop typing furiously. <laughs> Hold on. We haven't got a bond yet in the chat, so it's, it's all right. Like it's not on, you know. Like it, 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 this, this, this fandom has become a bit of a dictatorship. Before we start, I'm not going to get into a big long thing, but I'll just say. Like it's gone on too long now fans it doesn't matter what side of the argument you're on everybody on any side is entitled to their opinions if you don't agree you just move on simple as that and if you can't do that then you shouldn't be on social media it's as simple as that that's the way i feel about it anyway but uh without further ado 
Um, Real Super Doctor, you're obviously probably trying to get back in yeah. and fix your internet. So if you could just wait for a second, Charlie, do the countdown, just press play on your device anyway while you're waiting to come back on, just in case you're watching it on your TV. Um, and we'll do the countdown. If not, we'll give you an old uh, timestamp when you come in. So, uh, my cherry, my first one, says Holden. So, yeah, they, they found a place to watch Classic Hill now. So, or they got something to get watch Classic Hill. So, this is their first watch along. So, we do Oh, a, that's brilliant. Yeah. Hey. So, what we do is we do, we get Charlotte to do a five second countdown. And then she'll tell us to press play or go, go. I can't do it. Go. You'll see. Oh yeah, you've been you've been here probably, but just haven't done a watch along. Right, I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, Charlotte, go ahead. Yep. So five, four, <clears throat> three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Shut up. Go, go. <laughs> Go, go. See, now you just sound like you're in pain go, and you're like trying to... It's making me feel pain, I can tell yeah. you. Do you know that scene in World Enough in, in Time when they just say pain, pain, pain? Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, it wasn't that long ago we watched this one, was it? Yeah, the version the version I'm watching is UK TV Vault. Yeah. I don't know what version this is I'm watching. I've just found it. <laughs> so. Oh, good old Bill with his cape still from last story. Yeah. Oh, the sound's a bit dodgy on this one, but... Cloyster Bell's got a bit of a cough. <laughs> oh, the doors are opening. Panic, panic, panic. Now, a lot of two, a couple of people saying in the chat that they've got the DVD. Nice one. Oh, look at that little model, Tardis. I know, I Cute. like that model. <laughs> I really like the sets on this one. I, just, I think they've done such a good job. Are you stop? We did. We started, yeah. Do you want a timestamp? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, we're on two minutes and 30 seconds now. Right. So I'll go to about three minutes, because by the time it loads up and then... You might as well be... You might as well just be on the safe side and be a few seconds ahead rather than a few seconds behind. Yeah. yeah. And you're still kind of you're still kind of crack leap. So what I'll do is every time you go, I'll just add you back every time you pop into the studio. It's just one of those weekends, it must be with the weather. We have got a bit of rain here, myself. The air internet has been a bit dodgy as well, actually. <clears throat> What's wrong with Susan? She's in thought. Well, she, she, she's panicking because, like, the doctor, she got told that something bad should happen, and at the moment they don't know what actually's happened to them, do they? Mm. Oh, see? Look at this. He's, he's, he's apologising. <laughs> you can see the genuine warmth. I, I I'm I really do love the I actually do quite like and love the Barbara and Doctor 
relationship mm. because they just spark off each other. And like he can get cross and she can get cross, but they'll always apologize to each other afterwards. It's a bit like my thermostat. <laughs> yeah. The space pressure was far too great. <laughs> right, I can hear someone bad y'all coming through. Listen. So I'm muted on both. Got my headphones on. Yeah, same here. Uh, yeah, I'd get my headphones on. Don't think it <clears throat> I always thought that say that that area was very ambitious, but the very little mm. money that they did have. Oh yeah, like this story, they could have like with the money, they could have gone very small. I just mean with the with the sort of breadth and the ideas of the sets but they didn't it's like they weren't full hog for it yeah it's very ambitious i love how the tardis door or windows are open <laughs> Oh yeah, the hardy that doesn't happen in the in the modern one, does it? No. I've always thought that to be fair, even before I knew classic that well, they all, they, they look almost painted on the windows because they never opened or did anything. Well, the it was like a, a police box prop. It kind of originated from a Dixon of Doc Green, I think. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that's true. Yeah. Or Z cars, or one of those. So they went with the, the police box proper because it was easier to kind of disassemble and uh, transport, and mm. they could get the. Get it into the the BBC elevator, yeah. if needed. Plus, as well, I've always thought it, it, whatever the doctor's sort of ship was going to look like, it had to look antique, didn't it? It had to have that sort of, uh, that that theme of the old, whatever they went with. So a, a phone box, like a police box, is perfect for that. Well, the original TARDIS interior was supposed to be. Um, it was described in the kind of the the, the uh, I think the C. E. Bunny Webber version of Doctor Who that they, it was supposed to be lost in the fog, and uh, it was uh, a. Oh, <laughs> we've lost Super Doctor mid explanation. They found that. So uh, Peter Brakaki designed the... They found uh, the, the, the tarps of things. Yeah. <clears throat> so Peter Barak uh, Brakaki the uh, designed the, the TARDIS uh, police yeah. box. Uh, so I don't know if it was taken from... Z cars or Dixon of Doc Green is certainly designed for its for purpose. 
I bet you. I bet if, if the fellow was still around, where she'd like had the copyright to it <laughs> when he was seen like in Dot Two and how successful it was, he would have made a lot of money. Let's put it that way. Yeah. It's like even now, it's like that even when they when they can't when they don't want to put a certain doctor on something, they'll go back to the police box instead. So I bet the BBC are very happy that the design never got put behind any sort of copyright because they they can just keep using it and using it. Mm. Or they wouldn't have to pay. More likely, they're happy they don't have to pay somebody to keep using it. Oh, what time stamp uh, for Holton? Um, it's coming up to nine minutes, oh, Holton. So if you want to pop it on nine nine minutes. Yeah, I seen that PD. I'm just not gonna mention it because they want the attention, but well done. So they normally give a super chat and take it away. So just yeah, just do what you did. Another account will probably pop up. Just keep blocking them. See, even even classic who you know they're 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 setting it up all the little clues yeah. right i know it's not i know it's not brainstorming yeah. stuff but it's it's still very clever it'll get the kids as well at that time interest well big match a big earthworm you know like get them thinking and then they'd figure it out then oh they must be on a planet of giants yeah, it's a, it's a nice little mystery, this, until it's obviously revealed what's happened. Mm. That they sort of keep for a good chunk of the first episode. <clears throat> I like this first episode, though. It, it's not a bad episode, the first one. See, I don't think this is a bad story. Yeah, I, I actually good. quite enjoy it. I mean, all the parts, it's, it's sort of... It's a nice little... You can tell, obviously, this was they were saving a bit of budget with this story, but it knows what it does. It does its purpose, and I think it does it quite well. It is a bit of trivia for you. Go on. Do you know how long the original TARDIS prop survived? About oh. 30 years. Oh, God, no. Back then, probably about five years. It survived until 1976. The original, the original Hartnell TARDIS. Uh, Tardal. <laughs> What's going on? Um, no, the original, the original Tardis prop, as used by uh, Bill Hartnell, was used all the way up to thirteen years. Wow, well, that's not bad, actually. I mean, I it had various bits changed, yeah. and you know, the, the roof replaced, and all sorts, but it finally collapsed. <laughs> 13 years later and the uh yeah and the second doing... the second uh tardis prop was introduced in the mask of mandragora yeah there you go. right i can hear the audio is coming through again guys yeah, I can hear I've something. I've got the video, I've got the video mute that I'm watching, and yeah, on my laptop. Yeah, you muted. I know. Yeah, you, like it's really loud. It's because Susan's screaming. <laughs> oh, she's getting a bit irate. Right. I got my headphones on. I don't know if it's leaking from my headphones, but I don't know. I've well, not done I, that before. Yeah. Well, could it be? Could it be from this mic? Is it like being really sensitive? More than headphones is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, possibly. But, uh, listen, I'm going to mute mine. 
Can you hear it? I can't hear anything now. I, I don't know if that means it was you. Pull it back on again. Back on. Yeah, it's yeah. you. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, it's not even loud. Okay. It's you. Oh my god, it's been you all along. It can't Ooh. be. Oh no, it's it's not every <laughs> bit. Do you know what it is? It's when a bit of music comes in in the background. And then Susan fucking screams our head and off. Susan screaming, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, even though I listen to them in earphones, I keep them down to, to mid level because uh, any it's horror. It's not even loud. I know, but you mightn't think it's loud to you, but it's obviously being picked up by your um your mic. I say it could it could it could just be a mic problem. It probably isn't loud, but you might just be picking it up because it's sensitive or yeah, because you you use a what again? Yeah, a fucking it's, Mac. Uh, blue. Mac. No blue, blue thing. <laughs> right. Oh, the no, Yeti yeah. thing. Yeah. See, I can still hear William Hartnell. Oh, I can't make it any lower. I can't bloody hear it as it is. So if I can't hear it, how's the mic picking it up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. Got it but it is. I'm not messing, I swear. Oh, oh poor. <laughs> like, I'd love to know the direction for that scene. For um, oh, I've got the actor's name. That's terrible. Ian's actor. Ian like, Chesterton. Right, what, what, uh, yeah. Uh, William Russell. Yeah, I would love to know the direction to William for that scene. Just what am I doing again? Just, just toss yourself around, and it so it looks like you're being picked up. Actually, I find this quite sinister that uh, that there's a murder going to take place. Oh yeah, it doesn't. It, this is quite stark. Some of the imagery in this. Yes. Especially for 1964. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, 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 ladies, don't drop him. You might, you might break his hip. God love him. Mm -hmm. Bumblebees. Yeah. happens now the rivers of France but that's the word cunt mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a bit stupid, this bloke. <laughs> when he's like, yep, I'm not going to let you do what you want to. It's like, yes, mate, don't say that. He's going to do something to you and won't be able to get shot.
Well, lucky they're all dead, isn't it? <laughs> like, otherwise, they'd be really screwed. <laughs> Well, that's what they say in the episode, don't they? Literally, they go, yeah, it's a good thing none of these insects are alive, because we just wouldn't survive a second. It's just like uh, being on Scarrow. They don't know that they're they're in uh, among deadly radiation, and it's just like the same kind of thing. Well, I suppose it is And they're walking about clueless. They're touching things and don't know. Oh, Oh, yeah, they are walking around clueless, but with that it's a lot more like you said it's radiation whereas what the way barbara gets hurt she just happens to cut herself but i it's the same sort of vibe yeah they're sort of very in the unknown sort of trying to work out on the spot what's happening type of vibes that's the first oh doctor he touched it and smelled it the the oh, yeah. the, the, the substance but that's what you do, though. Like, that's the thing. It's it's one of these things that... Never affected him. You, well, yeah, but he, he's Time Lord in the end, all that business. But it's one of the... This is the difference, where in, like, just in general, I'm not just having a pop at current era. I've seen that so much, where it's like, they're just... Characters are seemingly written just to be stupid. Whereas here, like you said, you can understand why yeah. they're touching things there. Uh, because that's what the Doctor's like. He would be inquisitive. He'd try and work out what it is. Ian would be the same. Barbara, that, that's what you do. Whereas literally, it's, it's become nowadays just the most bone, bone idle things are t- said and done. Has Ian not? Yeah. Decided? See, that's the whole point of it, I suppose. The whole point is to engage with your audience. Oh, there's a big pussy. Yeah. Wait. Careful. I said pussy cat. I just, I was just at the moment when I was trying to say cat, I was swallowing some chocolate. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'll believe you now. But that, I love this shot coming up with the cat. It's a brilliant shot. I mean, look at the, the, the roots in the painted background of the, the, the grass. You can actually see it. It's just only a painted background. But it, it, it's still effective. And luckily you wouldn't have noticed that definition. on a small black and white TV flickering and grainy and staticky no. back in the day. Well. Pretty toots. That went quite quickly. Right. Yeah, and you've just said that in the chat. Yeah, Ian's hair is always perfect, even though he goes through all sorts. But Barbara, God love her, her hair ends up being a right mess by the end of nearly every story. <laughs> Well, it's very hard yeah. to have that blow dry remain in place. Yeah, that's yeah, true. <laughs> Everybody seems to be finished watching theirs. I'm still watching. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's weird. Must be playing at a slower speed. No. Where are you up to? Oh. How did that. Oh. Okay, sorry. Something that's that's a bit weird. <clears throat> well, some 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 sites where you watch these things, they they upload them at mm. a slower speed, and then you have to toggle around with the the speed setting to make it play faster. Oh, hold on, then. 
Why? This side, for some weird reason, has fucked this up. <laughs> this is the site I always use, and I never have problems with it. Oh, what can I say? Worst time for everything. That site. Right, um, you'll just have to start without me. Okay, um, do you want me to see a countdown? Because a few, I've seen a few ones now in the chat. Yeah. Yep. So five, four. Three, oh wait. Yeah, come. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Go. What was the cliffhanger? Uh, the cat staring at them and then like all in front yeah. of it. Looking petrified. Okay, we're showing this right. That's good. I'm on that cat for a second. I'll wait until the end. I'll go in. Yeah, he's just talking now, the doctor, okay. to them. <laughs> yeah, dangerous journeys just come up. Like you're saying, Lee, like imagine that shot on a tiny little telly. Yeah. It would have been quite striking. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Smash us to pieces. Poor putty toots. Daddy's dead. You know how fast cats can move. <laughs> I don't fancy being a part of the cat's diet. <laughs> so do you know how fast they can move? Yeah, when you put food in front of them. If you've got a cat, they, they can yeah. also move very, very slow. I remember that that uh, I had a, I had a Chinese and a big and I had a I had a cat and the 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 king prawn and butter fell on the floor. Next minute, oh. I noticed it was gone. Oh yeah, that as well. <laughs> if any food goes on the floor, they're interested in. Doesn't last long. Butter and everything. I'm actually quite glad that this isn't in colour because, I mean, it would show up just too many kind of uh, uh, errors in the, the, the picture and that. Mm. And it would kind of show up the... the well, I the, suppose the you, with modern technology, you can clean, the background. clean these things up. Yeah. Well, I think you should, to be honest. I think, see, some of the 80s, the Peter Davison ones, they're really in a poor state because I've got the uh, season 19 DVDs and I've noticed that with Time Flight. Mm. Uh, it's when they were in the, the, the airport. It's the, the pictures of a kind of snowy, mm. uh, kind of uh, the, the, the particles in it. And then when you turn it up to HD, I mean, it, it, it just makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, well... When it comes to uh, time flight, I think uh, <laughs> how it I'm looks is one of the that. last things you need to worry about. <laughs> so, uh, that's one I haven't seen yet because uh, I think I either missed it or I wasn't part of Classic when you did it. So that's one of those like famous bad ones I hear about, and it's like, I wonder what I'm going to feel when I actually uh, watch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you, you, yeah, you'll be in for a pleasant surprise, aren't you? <laughs> Plasma bonds. <laughs> Just make me laugh. Even though they give the explanation for the scientists why he's so point, like matter of fact, he's like, "Oh, I always deal with death," but still, mate, it's a murdered body in front of you. Yeah, right. And you're just being so like can't blanch about it. Sanctimonious. Yeah, you know, did it for a good reason. <laughs> you know, like really. 
and even is like, oh, even t- points out, by the way, you can't tell the police this because he's been shot from a distance. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you're an idiot. He's always like, but he's telling him. <laughs> With a bullet wound through its head. Or whatever it was. The greater good. There's a warning for you. Mm-hmm. You hear that flag? It should be a massive red. Flag. So if you yeah, hear that exactly. flag, it should be a massive red. Flag. Yeah, yeah. Because greater good is usually followed by uh, by any means necessary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or or um, collateral is is needed. Mm-hmm. Collateral damage. Yeah. Does make does make me laugh though. Sorry. That like in especially in um Bill's run and like early Troughton, scientists are never good guys. Yeah. And, then you, and then you get unit that's like a scientific like and you, and the doctor's a scientific advisor. And it just makes me laugh that every time. Yeah, <laughs> that's true actually. So, so now scientists are good, or like the doctor is, or some of the scientists who he works with. Well, I guess, you know, maybe, you know, it just reflects the times, doesn't it? You know, oh, yeah, like, no, it, it does. Science very much became a big thing in the 70s, was treated with complete uh, distrust in the 60s. You know. Yeah, see, that's, that's with, um, oh, God, I need to look at the chat, because my memory's gone. Yeah, Raymond, I, I've seen, like, I've seen now some of the color, colorized clips, mm. and I just think certain stories, yes, but other stories I don't think should be colorized. Yeah. Or, or maybe, see. like I said, I think it's a lot different watching a clip than watching a whole thing. Yeah, I think you can only really judge if you watch a whole episode in in colour, then then you can sort of engage, uh, engage, Mm. I mean, rather, what it it looks like and how it feels like. Poor Act 2, I had to just get rolled for this. So, yeah, we'll roll you, pick you up, drop you, nearly pick you back up again. But I think the sets are all also work here because you can tell the actors are completely engaged. Mm. They're completely t- selling you that this isn't like a bit of a prop. It's actually a massive 
insect or a massive bit of pipe that yeah. you sort of it, it helps put you into the into this whole idea of they're tiny well yeah you, you've got to be able to sell it haven't you oh yeah And it's amazing that they've went to the, such detail as well in uh, creating the grain of the in the grain of the table as well. I can manage, my dear. I can manage very well. <laughs> Yes, I'm a map. It, it would be odd to see Bill's Doctor with a Sonic now. Because he so that's how, she, that's how she's exposed to the uh, insecticide, isn't it? And she's just yeah. rushed yes. against it. Sucks. Yeah, right. Uh, oops. <laughs> mm -mm. Oops. <laughs> but you might want to say something now, Barbara. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the only that's sort of the the only real story gripe I have. Like why wouldn't you say something sooner? <laughs> why would you just sort of like uh, walk probably along? uh fear, you know, just denial. Oh, yeah, See, I, if this was if this was series one I would buy that. But this is now series two. <laughs> so I think it just comes it comes across a little bit well, well she just has yeah. it. Oh, she knows. Mm -hmm. Come on, Barbara. Why not just, just go ahead and tell him? <laughs> Maybe she doesn't want to worry him. Huh? Doesn't want to face it. So, that, so that's the only issue I sort of have with the story beat. It's also like they've, they've gone through Scarrow, they've gone through the radiation thing. So it's like they've seen each other in danger and hurt a lot at this point. So it's just, mm. as I said, it's just a bit. Wow, the fact that she fainted? No, the fact that she doesn't tell anybody. 
that she's feeling bad, like she's feeling ill, until like yeah. it's literally really killing her. I think that f flies well done. It's a good piece of animatronics, especially for its time. You see about the way it's moving and all that. It's not bad. <clears throat> Yeah, because all, like, all the bits are moving as well. That's what's impressive about it. Like, the antenna yeah. going, the wings are going a bit. It's not <laughs> like they got a static model and moved it a bit. <laughs> Watch, don't swear, Bill. <laughs> Because he does swear in this. <laughs> what did I miss? Grandfather? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 Do his breath, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, how could they get away with that? I mean, that's uh, and, and nobody ever noticed it. Maybe they just went, Oh, it's Bill. <laughs> He's having one of his moments, <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> He, and this is this is no knock on Bill. He comes across as somebody who could as well. Do you know if you, if you got him in a bad mood? Yeah. He could be like that sort of type. But to be fair, I I I, I often think of that with Pertwee because of his ex um, Navy days. That he probably could if you got him in a bad mood. <laughs> Actually, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of. Uh, clips with him where someone is in his eye line and he can be like he's nice about it but he's very he, at the same time he's like spiky you know when you stop it man I, i'm trying to do a sit saying sort of thing like mm -hmm. it, it, so it, it's there it, it is there i think i might what the fuck? Right. i think i might have uh, a site now because you know i'm smart What are you doing? I don't want anime. <laughs> I hate this stuff. Careful what you press, Noel. <laughs> nah. 
No, it's it's proper anime. It's not not the not the type of anime that I know you're thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, just normal anime you could say that about. Yeah, I know it's very uh, risque, isn't it? Is that what they they say? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not into it anyway, so don't worry. Uh, right. So I have this second episode, so you can give me a timestamp in a minute when it comes up, if it comes up. Then. Oh yeah, it is. Hold on. Oh, come on, press play. But yeah, I, I could actually understand that uh, Hartnell would be getting angry in that and frustrated and he would be kind of swearing a bit. Yeah, Susan is a bit annoying. <sighs> Greaming and all that and the, the, the <laughs> shouting. But, but to be fair, I think the king of that is Tom, isn't it? Like you can, I can just picture him on some set days, just absolutely <laughs> yeah. having a fit. Oh absolutely yeah, what well, he was famous yeah. for it. Yeah, because obviously you've got that clip. Even John when Pertley he, like, done it. Mm. I know, but I'm thinking of Tom. Like obviously the clip with K9, where he just tells him to off, doesn't he? <laughs> It was that you never yeah. know anything when it's fucking important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ranting at K9. You think, oh, Tom, you didn't get a good night's sleep that night, did you, before this tape? Right, time for that. Uh, it's coming up to 19 minutes. Alright, Grant, I found a site that works. I could still hear that audio coming through. We'll have to do something about that next week because we can't because yeah, I'm not I can hear something there. I can't go back to a time where all my streams get 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 striped, man, or get limited because the audio is coming through. Well I've sat further away, so Oh, oh, Daniel, you're the one who has the naughty language. I'm the good person on the streams. <laughs> <clears throat> even that the sometimes, you know, I want to say something, so I just even just blank myself and I don't say the word I'm, you can tell I'm thinking of. <laughs> Ooh. Are you all caught up now then? Next episode. 
creation. <coughs> boo, 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 I better go back three seconds. There we go. We're on zero, zero, point zero, zero. Nice. When everybody in the chat is ready, you know what to do. You press that little one button, but it's not a two. People on Twitter are a bunch of twats. That's why Lee calls it twit twat. Yeah, see it. Twatter. Oh, Daniel, come on. What's he saying? What the look what Daniel's just put? In the chat. Oh, your horses. Cowboys and horses. Naughty language on our streams. I have you know I'm an angel. Yes, because you never say any naughty words, Daniel, at all. Yeah, no, no, no. You're no, you're no, innocent. Yeah, you're you're completely completely innocent there, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <you're> right. <laughs> Roy. So are we doing to... countdown? You might as well, yes, yes. Yep, so five, yeah. four, yeah. three, yeah. two, yeah. one, go. Do 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 I'm going to shut up now before I run out. Yeah, of please. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo, woo. You know what I have been thinking, though, do you know how for the 50th they basically use the first Doctor's title sequence? Yeah. I wonder what, I wonder what the, sequence they're going to do for the 60th. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he'd probably do his own new titles. Yeah, but I think there'll be some sort of callback, won't there? I'm just trying to, I was just, I wonder what, what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, there would have to be, wouldn't there, yeah? Yeah. So they literally just lifted the bill ones for the fiftieth. Yeah. And that must all want to do his own thing. So I was like, how are they gonna do their little nod? Do you know what they oh no, it might look a bit bad. I was thinking like maybe have a TARDIS go through a few of the different time tunnels, but maybe that would look a bit That would be nice. Yeah. Or he reimagines right. uh, the the Sid Sutton titles. Which ones are those? The Peter Howell. Yeah, Peter do, Howell. Do, do something like Peter, what I did uh, in, in. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a in the in the vein of. I wonder if yes, he's. I was, just, I was thinking, like, with the with the um, BBC budget and the money, that could look quite nice if you went from, like, some of the iconic classic ones to some of the iconic New Who ones. Mm. <clears throat> well... well Apparently he was teasing news, Russell, so we'll see what he's what he says in the next couple of weeks or months. Yeah, well uh, Eddie says to expect something around the festive period. Uh, we'll see. I've just thought. I just. Do you know what? Do you know what else I'm excited for? We got oh. that really good trailer for the fiftieth. As like, do you know when they got like all the doctors in it, mm. and it was like slow and yeah. um, stop mo, and like they froze them all, so it went from. The, yeah, that was great. I I, I, oh, I hope we get like an, a better version of that, or like same vein but just better. That'd be. I'm sure it'll be spectacular. Whatever. Yeah. 
I like the doctor doing the Matt doing the narration about how his life he's always always been running. So it was a nice little theme to mm. go with the imagery. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yes. <clears throat> I love how he's holding like one end obviously with a towel covering it yeah it's, it's just like how naff <laughs> yeah <laughs> frankly he's the master of his own undoing yeah that's good man There's another reason why she wouldn't have mentioned it. She didn't want to derail the others and uh, get them worried and put them in a predicament they couldn't really do anything about. Makes yeah, sense. I, I, I get the emotional reasons. I think hmm. it's maybe because Barbara's always come across to me as quite pragmatic. Yeah, I, I think she's just, more of it? she doesn't want to worry them. So she, yeah. you know, cause they've got enough to worry about. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, my dear, gently, gently. <laughs> Wouldn't the water molecules be too big, though? That's a thought. No way, man. The creator of um, the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo died, died man. Uh, it's, this is the year for it seems to just be... Well, you get a slew of uh, celebrity deaths at the end of the year, always. Yeah. None that... Um, Cheryl's uh, band, The Monkeys, lost another member as well. Mm. Yeah. This one? I don't know, man. I didn't like The Monkeys. You have to ask her. She had a bit. She was listening to a bit of that music. And Michael Nesbeth, was it? I think so. I'm, I think you're right, yeah. Um, oh, that's a shame.
Oh, very many could be that actually. It's not a bad idea, considering what Russell might be up, might be doing with the teasing. Mm. Especially it, announcement on Christmas Day actually makes a lot of sense, considering he made that slot, and you could tell he loved having that slot. So yeah, it would make well, sense. Yeah, I mean, it it, it just seems. Uh seems a, a good idea and I think it would reinvigorate people to want to watch it on Christmas again. Not that I didn't want to watch it on Christmas before, because clearly they did. Yeah, plus it's a, it's the first sign of he's 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 going back to what he knows works. Mm, hopefully. See, Daniel, if, if Weaver was your co-host, you'd just be a dribbling, drib, dribbling mess. You wouldn't get half a word out. You'd just be too star struck and fancy. Can fancy you too. hear us? Uh, no, this is the first story in season two, Raymond. We've done season one of Bill. This is his second season now. In fairness, Daniel, you'd spend all your time bleeding trying to chat her up anyway. Star no, he'd be not it. He, he would just be like a... He wouldn't know what to say. He'd be that starstruck and sort of gazing just lovingly, lovingly at her eyes. And then in the background... And they call it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he said you're not to drink the water, you idiot. <laughs> no, he said the water was safe. I, my <laughs> argument is the water molecules would be far too big. <clears throat> Oh, she flopped on her head.
Very wrong of you, wasn't it, my dear? <laughs> what you need is a jolly good smack bottom. <laughs> oh, God, that thing was mine. <laughs> I'll never forget when Moffat completely miss did that line. Oh, I know. It was, it was really terrible. And I, like I said, I'm, and it struck out even to me when I hadn't watched classic at that point but i obviously knew so the you doctor. just instinctively knew that that was wrong i know but still i when i watched it back on the video that night i found it funny See, and the reason why is because of what we've got for the last few years <laughs> it just made it actually funny uh, and and you could tell like when peter's doctor was like it oh, you, you can't say that here you go it was it was supposed to be done for comedy but it was it was it was done badly, but I still laughed. I, yeah. I still, I, I still laughed. I still enjoyed See, I, it. I wouldn't have minded it if that was the one sort of joke they did a little bit. Yeah, but they did a few. the old attitudes of the time yeah. Bill came from, but it was there were so many lines that they gave him that I was just like, nope, your 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 character assassinating him. Mm. Yeah. Like, so if, if that was the only line, and if that was a bit of a fun nod. Sort of to go. Oh look, was, weren't things a bit different back then? Sort of. I would have been fine with it. I probably would have laughed like you did, but it just there were so many. Do you know what? Lee, like... Lee says once they do announce fourteen, the other side will go crazy. Do you know what? Yeah. I don't even care whether they do or not. It, it, they're irrelevant uh, now. Um, so, like, we should be thinking like that. Affect them. Affect their era. Let them have it. Well, they've only got three more episodes, so they should be spending their time enjoying that, really, shouldn't they? Yeah, instead of bullying and harassing people, yeah. Oh, is he taking out his gun again? Of course he is. You're slightly ahead of us there now. <laughs> yes, Doctor, let's try find the man's body. Yeah, and then, then you start a fire, then it, it starts spreading really fast, and you're tiny. How the fuck do you get out? <laughs> yeah, or how do you not like pass out from smoking it? Yeah. I mean, this is so clever. I mean, Ian works out how to kind of turn the gas on and and and, and set it alight. And well, that's that. But that that. But the clever thing is, he's a science. He's a chemistry teacher. Yeah, yeah. So they're using his background. Yeah. And this is why I think. Unlike certain characters who oh, are yeah. current, who are police people yeah. who don't do police until they remember to put it in. Well, I, I was thinking, like, in I know obviously in Big Finish they had Evelyn, who was a history teacher. But I don't really class Clara as, like, a proper teacher because it was a bit, she it was sort of as part of a character, but it didn't do a lot for her. Mm. And I just really find it amazing that we've not had a proper teacher in class, in Am um, Who as a companion. Because, like you said, with Ian and Barbara, you can just see it helps them so much character-wise and it enriches mm. them and it makes them inquisitive and it makes them want to engage more with what's going on around them. Yeah. And it's sort of that Hello, interesting thing of, yeah. of, the, of having the sceptic on board that he does have to prove a lot of things for them to just believe it. Whereas if you're like a twenty-something good-looking girl, it's like it's quite easy to amaze you, and you sort of take everything at face value. Mm. More rag. <laughs> yes, I sound like the other person. Mr. Farrow here. Very well. Hang on. Hmm. 
The reason why actually wasn't bad in this, she only screamed a few times, but she, mm. she actually figured stuff out in this as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to say the props are really good for the... Oh, yeah, yeah. You might want to mention that before. <laughs> Yeah, very much just that I, I would agree Susan's inconsistent with her writing sometimes they do just make her the screaming sort of like young girl and then other times yeah she she can she's got skills she can hold out her own very well yeah I still think that scene was very well done but uh, the matchstick would have just burnt very quickly anyway. Well, but yeah, but you've got to have some dis and um, dis. What's it called? Disbelief. What's the term? Yeah. Suspension go, oh, of oh, disbelief. Yeah, that, that one. When you go out <laughs> telly, things aren't going to work exactly like they do in real life. Yes, very well, my dear. Hmm? His, his name's Boris. Hmm. How very fitting. Huh? That's well done. I mean, uh, for the the canister to ex the, the explode in 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 his eyes and that, and then the policeman comes in. <laughs> You'll be very surprised. Lead on. It'd be a bugger if they uh, miscalculated and uh, made it even um, made themselves even smaller, and the seed became so big they squished everyone. <laughs> they squished them. 
That'd be mm -hmm. poor. That'd be very poor. I love that TARDIS model shot. Yeah. It's working, my boy. Yes, it's working. You see, it hasn't vanished at all. Yeah, but it makes no sense. He's picked up the seed. It still have the in the the stuff on it. But the insecticide would be too small, won't it? Yeah, it wouldn't. Have, yeah. Although it did say it could kill humans. <laughs> yeah. But then again, it's uh, the TARDIS can fix things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it your service? Right. That's it, isn't it? Three parts, yeah? Yep. Yeah. 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 Nice, nice. Very good, very good. Right, let's get straight into a panel. Everybody in the chat, you know what to do. To give your rating uh, in the chat. And uh, we'll start with you, uh, Queen Charlie. Yeah, no, I, I could really like this story. I think not everything has to be like a grand affair. I, you can have a, a sort of smaller scale, and I mean, as compared to obviously something like a Dalek story or some of the bigger, like six parters, Bill had. Mm -hmm. I think you do need these smaller, sort of condensed <laughs> stories scattered out. Um, we all said the sets are really good, and I think to do this story, the sets had to pull it off, and they did absolutely. The actors would just made you believe that as well. Like I said, they they were fully giving their all. Um, like I said, this, the, the whole scientist sort of evil scientist thing, or sort of the idea of obviously business going out of control. It's something that who's done before and will do again. But I think this one does that angle quite well as 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 well. I like actually that it's sort of just one scientist we see and his henchmen. It's not like a big old group of them. So that is a bit of a change. And like I said, yeah, it's, 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 it knows what it is as well. I do think, like, compare this to, like, the Sensorites last week. That did not need to be a six-parter. That had a lot of ideas jammed into it. This was a lot more simple. And, and the, even the explanation, I like the fact that something went wrong when they landed with the TARDIS. So that's what got them into this situation. And I think when you do have the TARDIS having malfunctions, it needs to have a consequence and it needs to have something to actually put them all in danger. And that's what the TARDIS did at the beginning of this story. So, yeah, I think I'll give this a seven because it's not like top, top tier, but I do quite like it for what it is. Fantastic. We're a super doctor. I give this a nine out of ten. It's quite well done for its time. I mean, uh, 
you've got you've got the the sets and everything like that, and you've got the 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 animatronic fly and all that, and the the plot around it. But I thought it kind of dragged a wee bit along uh, uh, because a uh, uh, Barbara and come in contact with the the DN six coated seeds. I thought that it, it, she could have told them and all that, and uh, but uh, it it did kind of play out eventually, and uh, it was it was quite interesting to how that the they had actually built all the sink and all that, and all the 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 cork at the end of it and 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 the the taps and all that, and for the the tap for the the gas and all that, and the the, the canister and all that. And uh, they went to the detail of uh, creating the 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 wood carving for the table, the wood grain in the table, and I thought it was really good. And uh, I thought there were some good performances uh, from uh, William Russell and uh, William Hartnell as well. And of course, uh, Jacqueline Hill was quite good in it. Uh, uh, Susan was just a bit kind of too screamy for me, and she was all all well. well it, I think she was going to probably be the one that was going to come in contact with the seeds or something like that, and she was the one that was going to faint and collapse and that. But uh, but it was uh, Barbara that that was and that. But uh, I liked the fact that uh, because of the TARDIS dimensions and all that, and being in a different dimension and all that, and. The, the fact that the scanner had broken down and uh, when they arrived but uh, but but once 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 the the TARDIS took off and the the doctor had taken the seed in and put the seed in the chair and the seed went back down to its normal size and and uh, and the scanner repaired itself and uh, you know it's a story that uh, all comes together eventually and uh, it, it done it very nicely. So, <clears throat> nine out of ten. No problem, Lee. Yeah, I think that uh, covers it pretty nicely. Um, mm. It's uh, it's quite an interesting story because you you've got two sort of stories going on at the same time, all yeah. happening in the same space, and neither of them are aware of each other, which I think is quite an unusual situation. Mm. So you've got, um, you know. Well, you, you, they're not really aware of each other for the most part. And then obviously they, they find out about this murder and they, they, they're working out this sort of sleuthfully working out what's going on and about, about mm -hmm. this in, insecticide and this murder. And and uh, they're trying to raise the alarm whilst trying to keep Barbara alive and, and <coughs> try and return <laughs> uh, and, and trying to uh, return themselves to normal <coughs> ways. Shut up. Talking. I'm getting a little uh, here. Well, die quietly. <laughs> right. So, as I was saying, and then, um, yeah, the the props are great. Um, some quite dark scenes with the dead body and on the floor and all that. Um, I sound like I sound like real super dots and all that. Uh, shut up. Yeah. Mm. I can't. Are you help. done? I can't. Are you done? Help. Are you finished? Talking. So yeah, go ahead. God oh, damn it. Okay. Put yourself on mute. Pepper must be flowing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it, it has a. It, I know it's only three episodes, but yeah, it does. It does seem to sort of plod along somewhere in the middle. I think. I mean, there's some ingenious ideas. I mean, it's very, very BBC, isn't it? You got like the borrowers and uh, yeah. Lilliput and all this kind of stuff, where they've done this sort of thing before. Uh, Box of Delights many years later. Um, and it's sort of very BBC, isn't it? You can almost imagine this at a sort of Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously without the murder. Um, yeah, yeah it, it's, uh, it's, it's, an, it's a nice sort of filler. Yeah, sort of yeah. Story, I think. You know, it's, it's an unusual start to a, a season, but, you know, yeah. they, that's how they did things then differently. It wasn't a big... Yeah. Big you bombastic know. fan. Yeah, it was just like, well, here's the next episode. I also, I also, I also like um, how in this era, like the stories bled into one another. You know, like mm. at the end. Oh, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Uh, you yeah. get that occasionally in New, but not as much. I'd like to see more of that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll give it, uh, I'll give it six, six and a half out. No problem. I think that's a harsh score, but well done anyway. 
You're always. You didn't like it first minute. <laughs> yeah, it well, would, it would have been well, interesting. It'd been interesting if they went with the 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 giants at the the very first episode of Doctor Who because uh, that's what they were planning. Mm. Yeah, so the... yeah. Um, I think everybody has actually said everything. I'm just gonna. Uh, all I'll say is I uh, I remember this story back in the day and find it very um, boring. Um. But I quite enjoyed it this time round. I have to say, um, I don't. I, I'm getting old. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, man. I, I, I it, I've noticed that, like, um, that some stories that I haven't liked in the past, I've rewatched them, and I actually really. So you're looking it. forward to the the future when we get to watch Trial of a Time Lord. Uh, oh, no, I oh, no, I'll well, never, ever, ever, ever like that story. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, that'll never happen in a million years. Uh, that story is just goddamn... Well, just remember, awful. you've committed to watching it now <laughs> in its entirety. Oh, well, watch them all. Call him Bacon. Yeah, him. because, you know, we're doing the whole run from start to end, aren't we? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was gonna, I was gonna finish out like Peter Davis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Um, he says that. Um, like some of Sylvester's run. What? I said you, you don't mind some of Sylvester's story. I don't mind. Yes, I don't mind some of Sylvester's run. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, especially Ghostlight. You love Ghostlight. <laughs> Remember yeah. the Daleks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give this current story that we were watching a seven out of ten. Before it would have been a three out of ten. So I score half a half a point less than you, and you tell me I'm a bad person. Yeah, yeah. I gave it seven. <laughs> I, I, I still gave it seven. <laughs> seven. Half a point more. Yeah, but half you always have to point. add half the point because I'm me. I have to be different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Lee when he's taken that when he's when he's had like fifty balloons apparently. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, oh Jesus, try him over time, Lord. Yeah, Daniel, we're gonna bring you on a special guest as well, man. Because uh, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah, suffer yeah, along with it. Have to suffer with us now. Right? That's the way it goes. It's now. Not all bad. When 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 RTD comes back now, you'll you'll have to start doing Doctor Who and turning up now. Um. Because the goat is back. The goat is coming back. And with that, folks, we're going to leave it there. One thank you all in the chat. And, uh, yeah, and, we did an uh, active one tonight, so thank you, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had the one little knobhead in, in the chat. Um, you know, um, thank you for sorting that out. Oh, but, just sorry. Dave's just saying what's in the Smith episode. We are on a town called Mercy tomorrow night. A town called uh, Mercy. So come and join us for that. Uh, some people don't like that episode. Uh, oh, that's mm. not say. Uh, actually, let's now. No, I don't. I just yes or no answers. Yeah, I don't want this to go into a big long thing because you'd be ranting about it tomorrow anyway. Uh, so who on the panel actually likes uh, this episode? Uh, Charlotte, I'll start with you. Do you like this episode? Yes or no? Yes, I really like it. Okay, real super doctor. Uh, no. I I knew. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm probably me. No. Oh, there's something wrong with you. I, I, I kind of <laughs> like this one as well. So, you know, join us tomorrow because the panel will be very interesting. Uh, joining us will be PD Rich, as as as, as always. Uh, Alpha Omega, I might as well give him a bit of a shout out uh, because uh, he's not he's not well at the moment. Uh, he's oh, got, get well, get well soon, Alpha. He's got the he's got the old uh, coof, and uh, yeah, so he's uh, recovering. So, uh, yeah, we wish him the best. We wish him the best, and we hope to have him back on the new Who panels. Yeah, he'll probably come back when, we, when we're back doing the festive special of Doctor Who again, right? You see, that's exactly what's going to believe and happen. So, uh, you never know. We might see Alpha in January, because uh, it does take a lot out of you, trust me. Because um, I think I had it, I definitely had it in the early days, man. Because you remember that time I was on streams and I couldn't Oh, move. you sounded rough. And I was bad. Yeah, I reckon I already had it, like, so. 
Um, I know what it's like. It's fucking horrible, but you get over it, you know. Just, just plenty of vitamin. That's what I did. Plenty of vitamins as well. Like those, uh, and we were drinking them. Um, you know, get those little yogurts that boost the immune system and all that. Lee would probably say, "No, don't, don't, don't." But no, I nothing wrong with that. What? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's it. No, I don't know if I'll be able to make tomorrow's stream. Waiting for the roofers to come out and do some repairs. Uh, thanks to the wind, uh, the wind storms that just hit. I uh, hope you are all safe. But yeah, uh, that's yeah. no problem, Chris. Uh, as a family comes first anyway, and, and obviously want we'll to make sure that he's awesome. Yeah, good luck with um, that. And plenty of vitamin D, says PD Rich. Exactly, that's it. Uh, a town called Mercy has a prequel episode called Making a, of a Gun Slinger. Yeah, well, I'll be watching that on my box set, so it'll be there. So we'll obviously watch the prequel. Or the, yeah, the prequel. Uh, while we do the episode. But that's it. So I'll say thank you to me panelists. I'll say uh, thank you to Charlotte. Thank you. Yes, real super doctor. Thank you. And problem big. Oh, bugger off. Yeah, cost you one half. See, see what I mean, folks? Has to be different. <laughs> Can help right. it. Nah, anyway, true. wait and you see this. Say good night, panel. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, see, now he's being a prick. Panel. <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll leave it there. We'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. And, uh, you know, um, as I said, look out for each other. And, uh, yeah, you know, keep his heads down. This air is nearly over. And hopefully, hopefully then. Yeah. Sanity will return. Well, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a long shot. But, we, <sighs> you know, now, miracles happen. You know what I mean? If Lazarus could come back from the fucking dead and, and Jesus could turn all those loaves and fishes into more like and shit, like, you know, I mean, there's miracles happen. You know, I've never seen a miracle personally, but I've heard of these great things and this guy called Jesus apparently performed millions of them, oh, loads of them. So miracles can happen. So you never know. So you never know. Pray to the big man. Pray to the big man. You what never RTD? Well, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. That's it. Please man. don't make this shit. Thank you. That's it. That's it. That's I thought it. Tom Baker was God. Oh, that's true. Yes, he has. Well, <laughs> he's a legend. He's a legend. Yeah. I, I think RTD is going to be the good new God. Yes. Yes, yes. Right. I'm saying no more before I do say too much. I'll see you later, folks. Have a good one. Enjoy good night. Good night. Then and we will see us for a town called Mercy. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, the week after that, I forgot to tell you, Power of Three, I think it is. So, uh, oh, suck it up. Oh. Suck it up, bitches. We got another Chris Chibnall episode to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? We even when even when we're not watching his era, we can't get away from him. We just can't get away from him. So, uh, it, it, it's it's just, you know what? I'm just demoralized now at this stage. But uh, I was going to skip it, but there's no point. I'm not going to do that. We're going to watch it anyway and, and, and just fucking watch the thing. Take the mick out of it. It'd be fun. That's it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a laugh. We're going to drink, right? That's what I'm going to do. Do you know what? I might even get pissed before I come on, right? Next week. Just get we all get pissed. And then I'll just come on and, and, and I'll just talk shite that is in this episode, right? So join us for that because that will be fun. Good night. See you later. Au revoir. And piss off. Till next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only messing. <laughs> I'll see you later. You are brilliant. Love you all. Stay safe, though. Seriously. All joking aside. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. And remember, oh, just shut up, man. The stream love you. Life. As we yeah. said uh, last night, <laughs> any of you ever need to talk, you know where we are. See us. Bye. Yeah, don't go to safe space. Doctor Who safe space. Yeah, there. exactly. Bunch of fun. See you later. Bye bye. Bye.